Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my name is Father Pinto Paul, currently a Silver International Director of Holy Cross Family Ministries. And today I'm so happy to join you, our Filipino community, sharing a reflection for this 20th, 29th Sunday of the year. And today's gospel calls us to reflect on the true nature of greatness in the eyes of God. Our world often equates greatness with power, fame, and influence. Just like James and John in the gospel, many of us yearn for positions of authority, believing that true greatness lies in being served. Jesus, however, challenges this worldly perspective and presents us with a radical alternative. True greatness lies in humble service. This is important. True greatness lies in humble service. He declares, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. Jesus, the Son of God, came not to be, not to be served, but to serve, to give his life as a ransom for many. The prophet Isaiah foretold a savior would, who would suffer and who would be crushed in infirmity and who would justify many through his sacrifice. This savior embodies not worldly power, but love and humility. In the Blessed Virgin Mary, I know whom you all love so dearly, we find the perfect embodiment of this servant humility. Her humility made her the ideal vessel for God's plan. She sought not to elevate herself, but surrendered her heart to God's will. As Saint Catherine of Siena beautifully expressed, God was so pleased with Mary's humility that his goodness compelled him to give her the word, his only begotten son. When Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done to me according to your word. She demonstrated an active surrender to God, not just passive acceptance. Mary not only teaches us humility, but also exemplifies a deep spiritual hunger for God. From her conception, Mary was an integral part of God's plan for salvation. Her hunger for God was an active longing a desire to be fully united with his will. This hunger led her to say yes to the angel Gabriel and embrace the challenges of being the mother of God. In our own lives, we too are called to be spiritually hungry. In a world filled with the distractions and false promises of happiness, we must cultivate a longing for God, hungering for his word, his presence, and his grace. This hunger will propel us to seek God more earnestly, to pray more fervently, and to live a life that reflects his love. And you know, Mary realized that true wisdom comes from keeping God first. Mary's life is a testament to true wisdom. Among all of God's creations, Mary was the wisest in keeping her relationship with God at the center of her heart. Her wisdom was not merely intellectual, but a deep discernment knowing what truly matters in life. By keeping God at the center of everything, she navigated the joys and sorrows of her life with grace and strength. True wisdom for us lies in prioritizing our relationship with God above all else. It involves seeking his wisdom in all our decisions and sharing his word with those around us. Friends, Mary's life teaches us that the wisest way to live is to keep God first and to share his love with others. When the call to serve feels burdensome, the letter to the Hebrews reminds us that Jesus, our high priest, understands our struggles. He has been tested in every way, just as we are, yet without sin. 
just as Jesus is with us in our struggles, Mary, our mother, intercedes for us and guides us to her son. When serving others seems overwhelming, especially I know many families, we experience that. Remember this, we can draw strength from both Jesus and Mary. Mary's humility, hunger for God, and wisdom remind us that we are not alone on this journey. She is with us, encouraging us to trust in God's plan, to hunger for His presence, and to keep Him at the center of our lives. So friends, as we receive the Eucharist today, let us draw near to Christ, who pours Himself out for us, and to Mary, who models for us the path of humble service, spiritual hunger, and true wisdom. Let us receive their strength so that we too might be great as they are great, powerful in love, crowned by sacrifice, and made holy by giving all we are. May we invite Christ and His Mother to rule our lives, our homes, so that in humble service for His kingdom, we may participate in His salvation and experience the true greatness that comes from loving and serving others. God bless you and your families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.